so i just want to say something very briefly about this covid19 coronavirus pandemic i think most of you actually think it's a joke because i don't understand how there are regulations from the government saying oh churches and religious homes should not hold now it's been reduced from 50 to 20 and people are making noise i don't understand true worship doesn't have to be the building of a church if you're so particular about going to church slot in your old church tapes go online listen to past messages call your family members praise together read your bibles share the word true worship is deep it's in you it starts from you and not the church building so i don't understand what the backlash is about and people saying they must go to church like how the gross irresponsibility is crazy it just doesn't make sense why are we so irresponsible in this country like if you're not particular about yourself it's fine but this is not about you alone you have friends you have family members you have colleagues you have neighbors so if you actually want to you know contract the virus that's fine but you need to this is not about you because it's the infection rate is crazy it is ridiculous so when you're putting yourself in arm's way you're affecting every other person it, and this is not something that is very small it's a very severe issue and of course this is nigeria we do not even have proper ways to curb this pandemic the only way to help us is by simple prevention and just isolating yourselves honestly why are we behaving like this why are we so selfish this is not nice at all that's why they say practice social distancing this is not the time to visit your mother this is not the time to visit your friends this is not the time to visit your colleagues this is the time to sit your ass at home this is the time to maintain your space. Sit at home with your immediate family so you do not spread the, the virus and you do not contract and infect other people close to you. Please, I beg you people, sit at home. Help us. If you don't want to help yourselves, please think about us. Help us. This matter is not small. It's a very serious case. People are dying. So my dad said, oh, it's just cough. It's just a flu. I beg, I beg. Now just cough, cold and kata. It is not cold and kata. This is like serious respiratory issues that affect the lungs. So no be just cold and cut. I make I speak and for pitch, make I take back now. Like, the other day I make I go market. Now I reach market and the market men and women they talk say I beg nothing like coronavirus. Now you know they in China the coronavirus day. God they use and punish Chinese people because they chop bats, they chop rats, they chop cats. Not saying we did too poor, you know, free matches for a year. The sun plenty, the sun go kill them. I beg not saying they can't shake themselves. They were busy shaking themselves and shouting, No coronavirus. We too poor for this country to get some. We not poor to get some more. And now because we poor safe, the matter no go easy for us. I beg, make una help us. Talk to your colleagues. Make una talk to una neighbor. If you get house girl, talk to her. If you get driver, talk to her. Sensitize your people. Talk to them about the effect and the ripple effect of this virus. Tell them, say, no be saying a cough and cut. I say, now waiting the kill person be this. And they go give them to anybody easily. And finally, please talk to your pastors. Talk to your imams. Even the Bible says that we should respect authority. So I see no reason why the government should say, oh, no church gathering. And your pastors and your imams and your religious leaders are calling for services. I don't understand it. So if you cannot even respect the Bible that says, respect authority, how do you want us to respect you? Make could help us talk to our pastors, talk to our religious leaders, I beg. Responsibility starts from the head. You can, they cannot put laws. We don't even need to wait for the government to make laws. We're not supposed to wait for them. We're supposed to just give ourselves brain talk, say, this now waiting we're supposed to do to make sure say life better for our brothers and sisters. I beg. And finally, make una wash on our hand. Wash on our hand well, well. Everything, your nails, sanitize on our hand, use bleach, use detol, antiseptic clean on our house. Eh? And make we pray, say, God help us. 
So why would they pray to God, say, may God help us and save us from this coronavirus? Make we safe play our part. We need to play our part. And please, government, it is not enough to ban schools. It is not enough to ban religious um, activities. It is not enough to ban social gatherings. What about going to work? Some people would go to work using BRT buses, Molwe buses. Please, what social distancing am I supposed to do in a BRT bus? What social distancing am I supposed to do in an overpopulated works, workspace? So if you're banning schools, you're banning church, and we'll go to work and come back home and infect our children, it's useless. So please put proper regulations and make sure they are enforced. Anybody will know here. Arrest them and throw them inside somewhere. Lock the kids and throw them away. Please, this is not about you alone, but about every one of us. I beg you, let us be responsible. And may God help us. Thank you.